So it's been raining for about a week now, and I take that as a good reminder to work on cleaning up the basement. A while back, my mother moved her wooden dresser into her room, away from here, so now I have this area I can clean up. I'd like to do that today. And I just have a general amount of clutter that's kind of accumulated after doing a lot of videos and haven't, sp haven't been spending enough time down here organizing everything. We've been having some issues with some water building up, so I've been running this space heater in the hopes that it can help allow the... Well, it'll heat up the air and allow this to evaporate quicker. We've been having some issues of mold and fungus growing, so I've been running this in the hopes that it will filter out the spores. And then I'm running this fan to help circulate the air to the other side of the basement where the dehumidifier is. Well, anyway, let's start on this section. This is a box full of Nintendo shelves. I would like to get them hung up sometime and have games in them or DVDs or whatever. But just don't have this wall space for them right now. Thankfully the box is really light. I'm just scared to see what's underneath it. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Some peanuts, some empty containers. Never mind, not empty. When I ran outside to take the bucket out, I had an idea. There's like two inches of just gravel in the bottom of the, or sand in the bottom of the fucking thing.
It's the next day and the rain isn't nearly as bad, so it's finally time to wash out all this sand. Oh, there we go. Actually, probably best to leave it open. I'm so glad that we live on a hill, so we never, never have to deal with extreme flooding. Like, I wouldn't consider this flooding, because this is just water that puddles up, because how uneven the concrete is. Because once it gets to this height, then it starts flowing over to the drain over there. I'm really happy that we got this all cleaned up. So now it's not all nasty and muddy, it's all actually pretty clean. Oh, and I found this. I forgot I got this. And I also forgot that it would work with water. So, I can use that if I ever need to suck up other old gravel or whatever in here. Because there's definitely a lot of sand that I sucked up. Once the rain stops, this will very quickly go away. But it's always hard to keep the floor dry once this waterfall starts running. And it's always kind of interesting because it's always pretty sudden when the water starts flowing into the basement. Like, you can tell like exactly whenever the surrounding ground reaches its saturation point and the water just needs to find somewhere else to go. Well, anyway, I spent some time organizing some stuff down here and got rid of a few things. And it's still a bit cluttered, but I definitely have a good amount of room now. And I like how this is nice and wide here. I'm getting very close to the end of bringing in things from my California to Illinois trip. I still have a few more things in storage for that. And I've been bringing a lot of stuff, like a lot of those two boxes are are like camera equipment and whatnot that I got out in California. But thankfully I've been able to keep up with the the input of new stuff, or actually stuff I already had. And I've actually been able to not only take the new stuff and find a place for it, but also open up even more room, especially upstairs. So now that I'm going at a pace of not only taking in new stuff from from the move, but also managing to outpace that and open up even more room and more space and organize even better, then once I get the rest of that stuff moved in, I should continue that momentum and be able to just open up more and more space. Because right now I'm kind of, I'm cleaning, but almost, almost at the same rate, I'm filling up what I'm cleaning with stuff that I'm moving into the house. Or another option is once I get done moving in everything from the move, then I can start working on moving things in from the storage sheds and scaling down my inventory and whatnot. So it is. I I recently did get the white shed very well cleaned up and got rid of about three trash cans full of stuff from there. So I could definitely start putting more stuff out there. Well, anyway, that's pretty much it for this. And I have a little small video that I filmed last week when the, the storm was really picking up and it's not interesting enough to be a video on its own so I think it'd probably be good to have it as a little end of a random bits episode so here's a video I recorded a week ago messing around in a storm whoa fucking hell we got a big storm coming pretty much right on top of us. Let's see how bad it gets. The wind is really bad, holy fuck. That branch just fell down, that little twig. Oh. Fuck!
I put the camera down and went out to get the umbrella, and I fell down again. This is just not my fucking day. Let's try that again. And I'm already soaked, so I don't care if I get wet. Look at this, it's actually making two streams. That is some fast moving water. There was a dam that built up, but it just moved it all down there. Oh, now it's clogging up my neighbor's drain. Yeah, a bunch, a bunch of wood just went down. All this wood right here. You can tell by the color that it really is digging out a lot of the dirt. Oh, somebody did ask earlier if the burn pit ever fills up the water. Well, it does with when it rains, evidently. But that goes away pretty quickly, so that's good. I'm pretty glad that we put this tarp up. It's interesting how the water falls from the tarp and is eroding all that out. Well, I think that's enough for me. Rain is pretty cool though. I wonder how this is getting down from here. Just a very dispersed flow it looks like. Now I would love to go out into the woods and watch how the water is eroding away all the dirt and see if there's any like bottles that pop up, but my head hurts pretty bad from falling down twice in a row, so that's good enough for this storm.
all dry. And that is a good example of why it's so nice to have a vacuum chamber and vacuum pump because you can negate water damage. Well, you can do it on like books and stuff like that, but most of all, you can do it on electronics, especially whenever it takes a while for it to kill it. Because if I would have let the water stay in the motors overnight, it probably would have killed this $700 camera gimbal. But having the water in there for like 20 minutes, eh, it's probably not going to have much of an effect. So just putting it in the vacuum chamber, boiling off all the water, and it's good to go. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya!